In this video, we'll be talking about ChatGPT and how uh, you and your small business can use it to speed up the creation of your systems and processes. Also wanna cover a few points because I know there are a lot of uh, videos popping up on the web about this. It's a very hot topic at the moment. So I thought, how can I add my own unique perspective? And that's really focusing in specifically around the systems and processes. So I wanna cover where most business owners go wrong when using and thinking about this new powerful tool. Talk about how you can use it, some of the different prompts, some examples, some cautionary tips, and also a little bit of a wrap up. So if you're not familiar with what ChatGPT is, it's uh, AI, artificial intelligence, that's been fed a tremendous amount of data that you can then engage with through a chat interface and ask it to do a huge variety of things. So that's probably my first thing where I'm seeing most business owners go wrong when they try and use the platform. It can be really quite overwhelming with the sheer number of possibilities and how it can help uh, you and your team do work. Uh, my suggestion is to remain focused. And just like we do with the critical client flow, think about what you're currently already doing, not what you would like to be doing. And think about, well, how are you getting prospects? How are you engaging those and converting those into clients? How are you selling them and onboarding them and delivering your core products and service? Think about what is currently happening and what is working. Then think about, well, how can this tool and AI speed elements of that up, make it more efficient, get a better result in a shorter amount of time and how it can become a superpower for your team. That's really where you wanna focus. This is not a replacement for your team, but rather this is a tool that makes them more powerful to get quicker results, more accurate in less time and, and polish the work that they're already doing. So remain focused in that. So with that in mind, uh, probably one of the best ways for me to show you how the platform works is with an example. And we'll just use the example of creating a system or a process. So I've gone ahead and I've created a, a short video here on how to filter by country you know, inside Pipedrive. That's just our sales CRM. It's a short video here. Uh, and one of the things that we teach at Systemology is to record yourself doing various tasks inside your business. And then you can use that as a basis to then create your systems and processes. So here uh, is a video that does just that. Now, using chat, GPT, and this is the interface just here. I'm just gonna use this command prompt. I'll just paste this straight in here. Uh, act as a technical writer. Please create a step-by-step -step process from the following transcript. Uh, please ensure to use fifth grade language and keep it simple and conversational. Now, the way that the AI works, because you can ask it to do just about anything, is it works with the prompts that you give it and the data that you feed it. So I'm feeding it this transcript. I'm gonna paste this straight in here and then we'll just let it do its thing. So it's gone ahead and said step one, uh, open the main pipeline and select everyone as a selection. And it'll go through and you can see it doing it on the fly, pulling out the key steps from the transcript. Now, is this the be all and end all when it comes to creating your systems and your processes? Most definitely not, but it is a great starting point. Think about uh, your documenter and how this will make it easy for them. This just makes a great starting point. They can then go in there and combine steps and rework things and add more detail and add pictures and all those things that a great documenter does. But this speeds up the process. Now I'm not gonna go through a huge variety of examples here. Um, you can search on YouTube to find that. Um, suffice to say, think about, again, what you're currently doing. You're currently writing emails. Maybe you're doing blogs for your uh, search engine optimization. Maybe you're creating videos or you're having dialogue with your customers for customer service, FAQs, uh, SEO. Whatever you're doing in a uh, chat type way or, or text based is really what you wanna think about. Ooh, can I run that through chat GPT? Can I ask it to act as a spell checker and grammar checker and improve the flow of this email? Can I ask it to write me a YouTube script for a video to help promote my hairdressing salon? 
You, you can ask it to do these things, but focus on what it is that you're currently doing. My other tip here, and you can ask it in any way you like, this oftentimes is a great way uh, to, to frame the question for chat GPT. Um, you ask it to act as a, so you might act as a technical writer, act as a business coach, act as a an expert on hairdressing. And that is a great way to, to tell the AI what how, how you want it to approach what you're about to ask it to do. Then you've got here to do the action, whatever that might be, to summarize this, to write you that, to proofread that, uh, that would be the action. And then any modifiers might be uh, if you want it to uh, get a particular result and deliver it in a certain way to you, that might end up being a modifier. Maybe uh, you want it to uh, deliver the result as an eighth grade, or maybe you want it uh, written as a script or a blog post or whatever it might be, you can add those extra details in there. Now, I've given you an example. Probably the best thing for you to do is to play around with it uh, yourself. I suppose the key takeaway here, and, and I covered it when I said where most go wrong, um, this caution just to really focus on rather than all of the things you could be doing, think about what you're currently doing and what is essential and repeatable and delegatable and really think about focusing in there. The wrap up, the takeaway here is when you combine AI with what you're doing with a great team, it can give you a competitive advantage. It allows you to do things quicker and cheaper, uh, but you need to think about how you engage with the AI, how you refine it. Um, we're looking forward to exploring it more. I know you are as well. Hopefully this was helpful just to give you some ideas and applications for small business, specifically around systems and processes. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like it, share it, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.